So ever since I was six years old, I wanted to be an educator. And when I was in school as a young child, I liked school, but I was often bored in classrooms. Um, so as, when I became a teacher, one of my main goals was to make school interesting and exciting. And so as soon as technology came into schools, um, I started using technology to make school more interesting and exciting for students. And then about five years ago, I went to a conference in Massachusetts called the MassQ Conference. And an educator named Liz Davis gave a presentation on Ning, a closed social network. And I was just fascinated by what Ning enabled Liz and her colleagues to do with students. Essentially, it gave more students voice. And that's always been an issue for teachers, is that we're in these classrooms with many children, and we can't get to everybody, and not everybody gets a turn to speak up. And so voices are lost. And all of a sudden, in, with Ning, voice became, voices were open. With Ning, more students had voice. And more students started talking to each other. And conversations became richer. So I went back to my fourth grade class, and Liz had been using Ning with high school. And I started a Ning with my fourth graders, and I just loved it. I loved that I was able to communicate with them all the time, answer their questions more readily. Quieter students felt more comfortable sharing. It gave children the chance to share with images, with video, with conversation, with short text, with links. So it really broadened our class conversation. Then about, then last year I guess it was, I went to the Mass Q again, and, or maybe two years now, and everybody was talking about Twitter, and I just signed on. Because one thing I've learned about technology is the best way to get involved is to just jump in and play around with it. So then I started using Twitter. And I was very shy at first, but many educators on Twitter sort of welcomed me in, and I joined um, Larry Flagg's challenge for 30 days of blogging. And so I became a blogger, too. And what Twitter and blogging have, has done for me is it really has broadened my ability to learn. And I have learned so much about teaching. I debate weekly with hundreds of educators about ideas, about processes. And then I bring those ideas right back into my classroom and use them. And my ability to reach children now has just become exponential. I can do a much, much, much better job. I have so many more tools avail available to me. So, and my students also continue to use Ning, which is a closed social network for their conversation and growth. So as you can see, I'm a real advocate for uh, social media and the growth and potential it has in education for what I call best effect for all students.